Hi, and very welcome to the Tech Zone. My name is David. Intel's integrated graphics for laptops like the 620 have never come close to NVIDIA's low-end graphics chips like the MX150 or MX250 for thin and light ultrabooks. But things have changed now with um, Intel's uh, Ice Lake architecture. The new i7 uh, 1065G paired with Iris Graphics G7 could be a direct rival to the MX150 and MX250, at least for the ones using 10W TDP. Uh, so this uh, is uh, Acer Swift uh, 5 2019 edition. And this device uh, is very interesting because uh, it has the Ice Lake architecture and uh, it will be very interesting to see how it performs uh, playing games, maybe lighter games, but um, that um, and running some benchmarks. So please come closer for a first look. So this is Acer Swift 5 and uh, this one has uh, 16 GB of RAM. You can see it's a real fingerprint mag magnet. And uh, take uh, a little tour around it and uh, you can see the under the hinge you can see the ventilation. And uh, on the right side we have a headphone jack and um, USB type, type A. Uh, it's a 3.1 Gen 2 and also a Kensington lock and some indicators. On the front we have nothing, just a little cutout for uh, easier opening the lid. And here you have the power input and uh, also HDMI port and another USB type uh, A port. And this is interesting because this is the Thunderbolt 3 port. It's not <laughs> common on these kind of devices, but um, it makes it possible to uh, connect it to an eGPU or to 4K monitors or something else. It also has four lanes, not two lanes that uh, some cheaper have. You can see the fingerprint, fingerprint reader is really fast. It's um, uh, <laughs> extremely fast. Uh, so I really prefer this before uh, the infrared camera. Uh, the trackpad is good, it's uh, clicky and uh, feels uh, solid, no wobbling. And uh, the keyboards, uh, keyboard is also quite nice, it's, uh, you can type really fast on it. it. The only thing is the spacebar that is a little bit flimsy. And uh, starting the, the device manager, so I can show you the configuration. There is also another configuration uh, that's not available yet, and that one has an MX250 graphics uh, alongside with the uh, Iris graphics. So that's a quite an interesting device. I will see if I can maybe get hold of uh, that one also, so I can show you that one. You can see the Iris graphics uh, is uh, visible there, and uh, you have uh, four core CPU, and uh, it's also four threads. So uh, the screen is also nice, it's a touch screen, so uh, that's, that's interesting because it's so light, it's only 990 gram. And you can see the, the brightness go all the way down to nothing and uh, it's about 300 nits uh, of brightness. I really appreciate if you can subscribe to the channel and it will really help me a lot. So I'll run uh, 3D Mark uh, benchmark test here with uh, start with uh, Time Spy, and uh, I will of course uh, fast forward this so you don't have to uh, see everything. So it cost quite fast. That was the first test, and uh, this is the second, and there are three in total. The last one is a combined uh, CPU and GPU test, uh, so-called physics test. So uh, let's check out the scores, 802, and that's uh, quite good ex uh, actually if you compare to other laptops like, like Asus ZenBook 14 may come up to around 950, so it's a little bit lower. And uh, now it's a uh, fire strike.
it's also in uh, three parts. It's uh, this uh, graphics uh, test and uh, um, yeah, so-called physics test, and after that it's uh, the combined test. We have a score set 2400, and uh, this, you can see the CPU temperatures is uh, quite under control. It's uh, not uh, more than uh, yeah, 60, 66 degrees Celsius. Uh, the GPU and the CPU is uh, quite close, of course, and you can see, uh, also see the frequencies. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, good. Let's check out a uh, test I did uh, with um, uh, Asus uh, ZenBook uh, 13. It's uh, the one uh, 392. And here you can see the, the same scores uh, 2617 on, the, on this uh, test. And the Huawei MacBook uh, 13, the i7 version, scores a lot higher, of course, because it has the more powerful uh, MX150 graphics. Now to the last uh, test, it's CloudGate. It's also divided in three parts. And I will fast forward, of course. And this score is actually really, really good. It's uh, well on par with uh, the best uh, of the best uh, MX150 graphics uh, laptops. Uh, so, and here you can also see the temperature is uh, rising a bit. Uh, but uh, of course, I'm running this uh, test uh, one by one, so it, uh, it has no time to cool down. So. Uh, I have also some games as you can see here and I can I have also access to Fortnite and so on. So if you want me to show you something, some specific games, uh, please write that in the comment section below. And uh, that's all for this time. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.